So Katie Hobbs defeated Carrie Lake for governor of Arizona. Carrie Lake, of course, was known as the female Donald Trump with better makeup. And what's she going to do now that she's lost? Is she going to go the route of Donald Trump and question the elections? Let's check it out in today's video. Hi, I'm Mike Greiner. I'm a lifelong Democratic activist who's concerned about the direction our country is taking. I'm also a lawyer and an academic, and I'm here to help you stand up to the BS of the MAGA crowd. So Carrie Lake was one of the key election deniers supported by Donald Trump and supporting Donald Trump. Well, now that she lost in a relatively narrow race, is she going to continue on with questioning the American electoral process? Well, it appears the answer is yes. Check out this video here. We're going to start tonight with Carrie Lake. She's running for governor in Arizona. She joins us tonight. Thank you so much for coming on. So it's very hard to know if you're not there what is happening. What is your best assessment of it? Uh, well, I mean, it, it, we've got messed up elections for starters, and they've yeah. counted a lot of ballots, but there's still about a half a million left to be counted. And, and these are primarily hardcore Republican voters, people who showed up and brought their ballot in on Election Day. We're starting to get a few of today's numbers trickling in, and we're getting from some of these drops 74 percent of the vote, 72 percent of the vote. These are heavy-duty Republican voters. And Poor, poor Carrie Lake. Unfortunately, it didn't turn out that way, did it? It turns out that these voters who dropped off their ballots on Election Day were also Democrats and were also voting for the Democratic candidate. Carrie Lake actually ended up generally losing ground as these ballots were counted. But part of the reason that so many ballots were still outstanding that had to be counted in Arizona was because of the fact that the legislature had put handcuffs, essentially, on the local election officials, not allowing them to count ballots until the election day had actually occurred. So despite the fact that they had all these absentee ballots in their hands, they just had to sit there and wait until election day to start counting them, which is what takes them so long. What's more is the largest county in Arizona, Maricopa County, which includes Phoenix, is enormous. And so the job that these people have of counting all these ballots is something that is a huge job and simply takes time to do. As it turns out, all these claims that there was some type of issue with the voting machines or with the counting machines, well, that basically was all for naught. They were nothing more than minor election day hiccups, which were quickly addressed. The surprising thing about the election was actually how smoothly it went and how well the counting went. And that's what's really outraging the Republicans like Kerry Lake. Let's keep watching. And isn't it convenient that they are the last ballots to be counted? They count all the Democrat votes early, and the really reliable Republican ballots are the last to be counted. Well, again, the reason that they're the last to be counted is they're the last to come in. Those are the last ones to be counted. And as it turns out, again, they weren't really Republican ballots. Now, it is true that in 2020, the ballots that were dropped off on election day in Arizona were more Republican than the absentee ballots that had come in before election day. But that was not the case in 2018 and not the case, as it turns out, this year. Let's keep watching. So we're less than a point away from our opponent, and we think it's going to start turning and turning quickly. And we believe we're going to win in, in a, with a nice, uh, nice padding, actually. Poor, poor Carrie Lake. It didn't turn out that way, did it? Let's keep watching. So your opponent is the Secretary of State. Um, she didn't campaign much. And she didn't seem like she needed to campaign a lot. She never debated you. And some are smirking online that, well, of course, she was always confident uh, in her victory. What's your view? Why would she debate her? Carrie Lake is a former news anchor with all kinds of experience on television. I love how they say Katie Hobbs barely campaigned when they just weren't campaigning the way they wanted her to. As it turns out, it appears she ran a pretty effective campaign. She won the election, didn't she? Let's keep watching. You of that very common take on the race. <laughs> You're trying to get me to say something that might get me in trouble. Listen, no, what, no, it's just I'm I've saying. read 50 people say that. That, that means people are so distrustful. What they're insinuating is that she knew she could sit back, hide in the basement, do nothing, and win due to cheating. That's what they're insinuating. And I understand right. why they would insinuate that, because we've had... 
Why would they insinuate that? After all, you have to remember, Arizona is the state that went through recount after recount after recount, including the so-called forensic audits that was conducted by a Republican firm. And guess what they all found? That Joe Biden won the election. Imagine that. They kept saying, oh, well, now we need to do another recount. Basically, keep doing recounts until they find some different results where there is no different result. Because the fact is that Joe Biden won the last election and Katie Hobbs won this election, just as did Mark Kelly. Any claims that there was anything inappropriate that occurred are completely baseless. Let's keep watching. Had such terrible elections. They're run poorly. They're ripe with fraud. There is no evidence of fraud, by the way. This claim is BS. It's been debunked again and again and again. And remember, the Republicans are the ones who ran the forensic audit in Arizona that found that there was no wrongdoing. Let's keep watching. And we, we've seen this time and time again, and nothing's being done. Our elected officials tell us if we dare bring it up, we are conspiracy theorists, we're election deniers. They, she is a conspiracy theorist and an election denier. She's the one who's saying that there was something wrong with the election in Arizona in 2020 when again and again, including a Republican election audit, found that there was nothing wrong and that Joe Biden won the state handily. Let's keep watching. Darn it, we've got to start bringing this up. People are fed up. I was in a Veterans Day parade today and people were shouting out from the side of the road, please repair our elections. Please count our vote. This is crazy. The people of Arizona are... Isn't it funny that they're so concerned about counting the votes of people like that, but they're not so concerned about, say, counting the votes of inner city African Americans, for example, or Native Americans living on reservations. And now they're even talking about trying to make it harder for young people to vote. And you have to remember, it's the Republicans, not the Democrats, who made it illegal for people to hand out water to people standing in line waiting to vote. That certainly seems like an election fraud waiting to happen, doesn't it? People might actually not be be thirsty when they vote. Imagine that. Let's keep watching. Fed up. And when we win, and rest assured, we will. With 100 Poor, poor Carrie Lake. It just didn't turn out that way, did it? Let's keep watching. Percent certainty we will win. One of the first things I'm going to do on day one is call a special session, bring the legislature in, and say, fix these elections and restore honesty and transparency so we can have faith in our elections. Now, again, part of the reason that this count, vote counting takes so long is because of the handcuffs that have been put on the local election officials by the Republican state legislature. And you have to remember, up until this year, it had been a Republican who was the governor of Arizona. So when they talk about there being all these problems and how nothing is being done about the supposed problems with the elections, these are Republicans who are in charge. But the fact of the matter is they've created the system that means that it takes a long time to count the votes, especially in larger counties like the county that includes Phoenix. Let's keep watching. Once again, this is our sacred vote. We get one vote. That's what we should get, one vote. And we want to know it counted. I'm, I'm not accusing your opponent of doing anything wrong. I have no knowledge of that. But she is the Secretary of State, and it seems that one of the main costs of an election this chaotic is the confidence of voters that it's real. So why wouldn't she recuse herself for appearance sake, if no other, before the count began? We asked her to do that one month into jumping into the race back in uh, July of 21. We asked her to recuse herself. We said, this is unethical. It now, isn't it funny, by the way, that there were no such calls for Brian Kemp to do that in Georgia back when he was running for governor four years ago? And unlike Katie Hobbs, there actually was a lot of evidence that he was interfering with the election by essentially cleansing the roles of people who might vote against him. But Katie Hobbs did no such thing in Arizona. She didn't have to. She went out and she won the election fair and square. Let's keep watching. It, you know, just recuse yourself from the parts of your role as Secretary of State that uh, deal with the election and and she refused yeah. to do so. But, you know, she only showed up for work 19 days in the past six months. So I don't know how much work she does. And we had the big red flag on August 2nd, the primary election. It played out exactly like this. They counted the Democrat votes first. They slow rolled the Republican votes. And it was days and days and days of counting. They did nothing to improve it before this general election. And then we have the tabulator machines that didn't work in a third of the polling places. We can't continue to run elections this way. We're very no. confident, Tucker, that these elections are gonna start, or these, uh, these counts are gonna start going heavily our way and we will win this. And I assure the people of Arizona, we will clean up our elections. 
Yeah, and I, my view is eliminate absentee ballots, except for you know the tiny percentage who really need them. This is this is crazy. Yes, let's eliminate absentee ballots, make it as hard for people to vote as possible. That's what the Republicans are all about, is making it hard for people to vote. They're not interested in seeing people get their votes counted. They want to make it as difficult to vote as possible. So the only ones who can vote are the people who vote like them. Well, the real threat to our elections are the continued efforts by Republicans to undermine not just our elections, but our right to vote. And if you want to see another video that I did a while ago about how the Republicans on the Supreme Court have been targeted targeting our voting rights, check out this video over here. I'll see you then. In the meantime, let's hope for continued progress. Thank you.